Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Fuji X20. Now this is one of their pro level compact cameras. You can't change the lens out but it offers up some really cool features. I'm going to show you this unboxing and also just a first look around the camera, the controls and also the specifications. So let's get things underway, a nice sort of understated, very sort of black box. You can get this in two different colours, you can get it in a black silver combination or the all black model that I've got here. So let's have a look at this superb little camera. So first of all, we have got a little sort of bag of pamphlets and a CD as well. So let's see what we get in here. So the first thing we've got is some, what looks like, uh, oh, here we go. Just some amendments to the camera manual. And then we've got some warranty and service information. Next up, we have got a manual so an owner's manual to get us up and running we've got first steps in here just uh, the real basic things to get everything working and then we've got a cd and on this cd we have got the owner's manual and also finepix studio for windows and also raw file converter for windows and mac down into the main section of the box we've got a little bit of cardboard to remove by the looks of it and just get this out there we go so here we go this is the main compartment really nicely presented and the first thing we see is a little strap with Fuji film printed on it so nice that they include that then we've got the battery and this is an NP50 battery 3.6 volt 1000 milliamp hours next up we have got a micro HDMI to, uh, sorry, micro USB to full size USB cable. So that's really cool. Used for getting photos and videos off of the camera. I always recommend getting a card reader though. It just saves so much hassle. And then we've got a little battery charger. So this is really nice because I don't really like charging batteries inside the camera. It's always nice to be able to get a spare. So the fact you've got an external charger here is really good. Battery goes in here, it's a multi-voltage charger so we can get a different uh, adapter depending on what country you're in. Now I'm in the UK so of course Fuji supply a 3 pin UK adapter and that just sort of clips on like so. Now you'll notice if I just remove that again that this is a figure 8 uh, adapter in here or figure 8 socket so you could use a figure 8 cable for your country with this one. As it goes, this would just plug straight into the wall socket. So nice charging solution. And then we've got the camera itself. Here we go. This is the Fuji X20, so let's have a look at this. Very excited, because I absolutely love the quality of the X10 when I reviewed it before. So this is the X20. So 12 megapixel sensor in here. Uh, four times optical zoom, so that's the equivalent of 28 to 112 millimetres. And we've got ISO range 100 to 12,800. We've got a 2.8 inch 460K dot resolution LCD monitor on the back. As far as I know, it's not a touch screen. We've also got full HD video recording in here, uh, up to 1080p 60 frames per second. And something worth noting is the bit rate at which it captures videos is 36 megabits per second. So that's one of the highest bit rates on a compact camera like this to actually be released. So very excited to test the HD video capability of this. We've also got an optical viewfinder, which again, nice that Fuji kept this on the camera. And it also overlays this with real-time shooting data. We've got really fast autofocus, advanced filters, and also an output for or an input for a stereo mic. So let's have a look around the camera. Well, first of all, we're concentrating on the back scene as we're there already. We've got a playback button, AE button, uh, shooting modes, and also white balance on this side of the screen. We've got a little flip switch here to pop up the flash. So built-in flash. We've also got the optical viewfinder. This looks like some sort of sensor, so it'll switch between the two when you put your, your eye up to the viewfinder. And then we've got a mode dial just here. We've got uh, auto exposure lock and focus lock button 
just here. And then we've got a rotary dial. So as well as the command dial here, we've got another dial for navigating through and changing settings. And then a four-way rocker. And this does things like uh, AF or trash can, flash mode, macro mode, and self timer. And then we've got the menu OK button in the middle. Display, quick menu for getting access to quick settings and a little sort of thumb grip here, which gives a nice grip on the camera actually. And then we move around to this side underneath here. We've got the uh, mini HDMI and also that USB socket. And it's this USB socket that you can get an adapter and a microphone for, so you can have an external microphone on here. Round onto the front, this is obviously the lens cap, so let's remove this, and this reveals the lens. Very, very nice looking lens. And this is what switches on the camera. Now, I haven't got the battery in at the moment, but as you turn round and it goes to the 28 millimeter mark, this actually turns the camera on and then back round to the off position. So you've got no physical on off button on here. And then we've got uh, control here for the focus modes, and we can switch from single focus to continuous focus and then manual focus. Now with regards to continuous focus and the other modes as well really, uh, we have got phase detect autofocus on the sensor on this camera. So it should be really good for video, really looking forward to that. Round on the bottom here, we've got a tripod mount. We've also got a door which reveals the battery and the memory card slot. And then Around on this side, completely clear. We've just got two little eyelets either side where we can attach the neck strap. And then round on the top, we've actually got hot shoe. So really cool, very full featured camera this. We've also got a mode dial, which has got a nice firm uh, feel to it. That's very good. It's not gonna be accidentally turned. Dedicated movie mode in here as well. There's no movie record button. So if you're recording video, you have to actually put it in this mode and then use the shutter button. And then we can go all the way back around to obviously program mode, shutter priority, aperture priority, manual, and then we've got some custom modes as well. And then of course the shutter button just here. And then we've got function button and then an exposure compensation dial as well. So Fuji, oh, that's very stiff. Oh, hopefully that'll loosen up a tiny bit. But there we go. That is the exposure compensation dial. So quick access to a lot of the settings. And that's what really sets this apart. This is a pro level compact camera and it offers up so, so many features. So I'm really looking forward to putting this through its paces. This is the Fujifilm X20. This has been my unboxing and first look. Please do hit like on this video. Please do subscribe as well, because I'll be doing a full HD video test on this and also testing its photography capabilities and bringing you my full review in a couple of weeks. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.